Hello, everyone. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I was like drinking my tea and I got stuck in my throat. Ah, uh, should I start again? I ah, forget it. Hi, welcome. This is Kirsten from Kirsten Red Resale. I hope everyone is doing fantastic today. Uh, today is my wedding anniversary, which is yay. Made it. It's 19 years today, which is crazy because I feel like I'm, you know, 20 something years old. So obviously I'm not if I've been married 19 years. But anyway, so so that's exciting. Yay me. <laughs> I hope everyone's having an exciting day too. Um, I'm here to do a uh, preview for my live sale, which will be tomorrow evening, which is Thursday, um, March 21st, um, because of daylight savings and all that shenanigans. Uh, my time, my start time is 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, or is it Standard Time? I don't know. It's 5 p.m. Pacific time and 8 p.m. Eastern time. I don't know if that's standard or daylight. Not daylight. Oh, who knows? Obviously, I'm a little spacified right now. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to show you some cool things, the things that I think that are cool that I'll be bringing tomorrow evening. Um, we'll start with this one. I was on the fence if I was going to bring this or not. Um, this is Iris Apfel. Um most of us know who she is. Um, she did quite a few, well, she was a pioneer of many things, uh, first starting with textiles with her husband. Eventually I'll do a video about her, but she passed away at the beginning of this month. Um, and she had a lot of influence in my life. Um, actually, uh, my had some intertwining, tangling with her and her husband as far as uh, my grandparents knew them, basically, in Palm Beach, Florida. Um, and uh, I always admired and thought she was like a crazy wackadoodle in the most fabulous way. Anyway, um, so uh, in lieu of her passing, um, I figured I'd maybe bring one or two of her pieces. So this is one. Uh, this is one of her Lucite um, chains you know so we have this is the more neutral color she's also not known for her big vibrant crazy colors but if you all know me I'm more of a subdued uh, as far as like what I wear but I still like funky things so this was my compromise um, anyway so this is a great funky chunky piece it is fabulous um, she did a few different lines with different companies this is one of her um what they would call older vintage pieces this is from HSN um, I don't remember I think this is from the 90s i think i'm not quite sure uh don't quote me on that but she did things with uh h&m was her much more recent one um and those are signed pieces this is not a signed piece um but however it's still a fabulous uh iris necklace big chunky fun so i you know i will have this tomorrow um if anyone is interested and it comes with like the home shopping network box that it came with but anyway so we got this beauty here or funky beauty, I should say. And that was what she very much was. You know, she was beautiful in her own perfect way. Anyway, I'm not going to get upset. I promised myself. Okay, so I was asked to bring a little bit of glass if I could. So I was able to come uh, get this uh, really, I think it's really fun um, and really pretty. This is a Millefiore glass, actually. Uh, I love the clear pink and red with a little bit of the white combination. They are slightly graduated. Um, well, not slightly, they're actually very much so graduated. Um, is it the best strung piece of jewelry I've had? No, it's not. Is it really awesome and beautiful? Absolutely. So someone could wear it as is. I mean, it's completely functional, whatever. But if you are a beater, then you could probably take it apart and uh, do knotting in between. And that's what I meant by not, you know, I like when it's knotted in between and this one happens to not be. But the uh, Millefiore glass is absolutely stunning. Really pretty. Very, uh, very Easter. Isn't Easter coming up soon? So there we go. We got that one. Um, <laughs> I do have a, a deco piece, a glass necklace. Um, and this one is old. It's deco. So it's, you know, um, it is, I think, the original stringing. Um, and I have, you know, pulled and tugged. And it seems like it's safe. But whenever you buy these really old pieces, when you wear them, just keep that in mind. That these pieces are, you know, 70, 80, 100 years old or who knows, you know, so... Um, just keep that in mind when you're wearing them. Just, they have to be treated a little bit gently. Oh, I don't even have this level. Here we go. So small, and then it goes all the way down to the big, beautiful, bold. And it does have the, now this one I think is cotton threading or some sort of uh, other material other than silk. This is not silk knotted. Um, I don't think so. I looked up close. Now it could be in just very old, you know. Now I'm zoomed way in. So you can see, you know, it might be. I don't know. 
what material is actually. But the blue is beautiful, stunning, um, and it's in very good condition. There might be some issues here or there, but nothing that I've seen that I would note as of quite yet. Sometimes on camera you see things that you don't see to the naked eye. So I'll keep looking at it, zoomed in and see. But in the meantime, I've got this beautiful deco knotted long glass necklace. Look at that baby. So pretty. I can't see. Okay, I do have a dragon's breath bracelet um, that I will be selling. Now, this one is a much larger size. Um, I wear this particular style of Dragon's Breath. Um, I've had quite a few of them and I can make this smaller and I would just send you the extra pieces or you could just keep it big. So right now, look how big, this is a seven and a half incher, which for these old pieces, that's big. I mean, usually the old vintage ones are not this big, but these are, like I said, I've worn this, I have probably, probably the same one or close to it, I don't know. Um, and I've taken these, they're very easy, they just open up and you just close it back up, it's really not a big deal. Um, this one is in fair condition. The glass is absolutely stunning. The metal is worn, there's wear to this metal. Um, but if you love a dragon's breath um, and you don't wanna pay $300 for you know some of them, um, this is a great alternative, and this is original, all original. But like I said, the metal does have some wear to it. It's just absolutely stunning. Nobody's gonna look at it and say, that metal has wear to it, how dare you? Anyway, so this is also available. Well, maybe they will, I don't know. <laughs> who knows, I don't know who's looking at your wrist. Okay, let's see what else. Oof, boy, let me see. Sorry about the zooming in and out. Um, I have this fantastic, look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? Look at this stone. So this is all sterling silver and obviously multi stones. This is Sajin. Um, and you know, a lot of us know Sajin uh, and we're very much used to the um, goddess faces or moon faces or uh, you know, I'm not really sure what they're called uh, all the time. But this, I wouldn't look at it and say, oh my God, it's sage and everyone has it. It's mass produced, blah, 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 blah. I would never ever in a million years look at that and say that. This is absolutely fantastic. Look at this. I mean, just the, the thought process that went into finding this particular slice of this spotted jasper. I mean, it looks like butterfly wings. It's absolutely beautiful. Great, great selection on that, in my opinion. Um, and it is side back here. And, you know, all of their beautiful sterling work that they do and all the nice gemstones. So it's just, I thought it was a really cool, really just really well thought out beautiful necklace. So we've got that baby there. These are, these are my favorite earrings for today. Cause you know me, these are huge, beautiful, amazing vintage. I think these are Tasco, am I correct on those? I think so, I'm not hundred percent sure. I will obviously have all my information tomorrow evening. Sterling silver. And malachite, look at that malachite. I think I see a little scratch there, possibly. Yep, a little scratch up there. Can you see that? Um, but these are lovely. They are heavy, but these are all thick sterling. Wow, just fantastic. I could see in the 50s, you know, Mexico City going to the art museum and beautiful, fabulous woman wearing these incredible earrings. Like just really, yeah. Really lovely. Anyway, that's how I look at jewelry. I put stories to it a lot of times. I don't know why. It's just because I'm visual and I don't know. So it might come across a little odd to some of you. So I apologize for that. Let's see. And if you don't like the Navajo slash Tasco or super modern looking jewelry, I will also have a little bit of deco. So I have this really, really lovely. This is sterling silver. Um, and these are genuine pearls. Am I even zooming in properly? I don't know. Oh, I don't have my black light with me. Anyway, <laughs> and I think this one, do these have little, so we have ruby. I'm not sure if this one has little pearls. Wow, I can't see. I don't think it does. I think this is just the three little rubies. Absolutely, come on, focus, please, camera. What is happening? There we go, anyway. Um, and I did not have an original deco chain, so um, I just put it on a sterling silver chain. Um, I was able to acquire the pendant separate. So, um, but it, the the color of it, the shininess of it, everything. Um, these are both sterling silver. 
um, but they are rhodium plated on top of the sterling. Well, I'm not sure about this one. I know this one is, but it matched very nicely. So I figured it wasn't taking away from the beautiful pendant. So I thought it worked nice. So there we go. We've got this one. And let me see here. Now this one is not deco, but it's in the style of, this is a much larger, I think this is a size 10, I'm not even sure. This is a sterling silver sapphire uh, buckle ring. Please focus. Oh, you know, when you think about having to get a new phone, because I do this on my phone, an Apple phone, whatever, just the thought of spending that much money just nauseates me just a little bit. So I've been trying to just make do with what I have. But anyway, woes are me, right? Oh gosh, shut up. Yours, that's so silly. Anyway, fantastic buckle ring, um, larger size. I'm pretty sure this is a size 10 or 10 and a half. Uh, sapphire, I don't know. I think those are CZs. I do not think they are diamonds, but. But like I said, this is not deco, it's just in the style of, this is a newer piece. Okay. Let me see, what do we want to say? How about, I do have some fabulous Tasco. Uh, you know, I, I can't resist. It's just, it's an issue I have. Um, look at this, I have one very similar. This is a Tasco vintage piece. It is sterling silver and amethyst. Really just a great piece. Um, this one is, I think it's a smaller size. I'm not sure, let's see. Yeah, this one's definitely a smaller size. This one is uh, six and three quarters of an inch. And the only reason I'm giving some of the sizes now, just so, you know, you don't get your, you know, you need a seven and a quarter and you love this bracelet and then tomorrow evening you're bummed. You know what I mean? So I just wanna let, you know, like, you know, this one's smaller, six and three quarters of an inch. And this one, I don't know how you would make it bigger unless you didn't care how it looked. <laughs> and I'm sure you probably would. So that's this one. Um, I don't think all of them, I do have a Tasco one that's a, for a larger wrist. And this one's, uh, this one's older than even that one. This one's really fabulous. Look at that. I don't remember the stone. This is stone, not glass. And this one is, what size is this one? So this has a different class as well as it has that kind of class. But this one is a size, oh, this is so cool. I like these unusual stones. They're not stones that you see often, um, maybe in Tasco jewelry you do, but um, not in daily people, just daily people walking down the street. Um, but I don't remember the name of the stone. I'll try to recollect it tomorrow. This one is larger. This is seven and three quarters. So this is almost an eight, look at that. And obviously this one can always be made smaller, but you'll have to remove some of the, the links here, which, you know, could be an issue. So I'm trying to accommodate what people have asked for. I can't always, you know, I've, it's, it's hard. It's getting hard out there finding, you know, everyone's size and style and for an affordable price. And you can find whatever you want as long as you don't have a, a limit, you know what I mean? But, you know, it, it's almost tax time. We all have to be a little careful, right? So anyway, um, I did do a short time on this fabulous piece. I think it was last week. And this is incredible. This is a vintage Israeli Malachite and Sterling Silver Modernist Ring. Incredible. Like true artistry. And what I mean by that is it, it looks like an actual artist made this, not run-of-the-mill jewelry studio not that there's anything wrong i do like some basic run-of-the-mill you know they make more than one of them blah 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 there's nothing wrong with that okay especially if it's a nice high quality piece but when you've come across a piece like this they're slightly askew there's something you can almost feel the artist's signature just with their hands like how they made it um and that's what i mean by artistry um different techniques than you would see nowadays for sure maybe not in a university universities you learn these things but people forget that they don't stick with that kind of stuff unfortunately or most people don't there are a few that do uh, but this is just a really really cool piece i love the cage of the whole thing the height of it really really fabulous piece so i was fortunate to be able to get that to bring to you all yay so yay me <laughs> okay now um there's a company called Tabra. Now they've been around for a very, very, very long time. Um, they can be very pricey. Um, and uh, I got a baby Tabra. <laughs> this is a tiny little one. Now this one is not an expensive one. Um, and it's 
it's funky. Now, I don't know if this is new. I'm not really sure exactly anything about it. Um, but it has like the little Eye of Ishtar, which is like evil eye. It keeps evil away, protection, blah, blah, blah. We have a little lapis, little dangle bits, and just the, the uh, face that they're so well known for. I have a similar version, bigger, that um, I wear. Um, yeah, really cool. This one's a, a smaller ring. So if you have a smaller finger, well, let's see. I don't, I don't know my mandrel what size is this. This one's probably, this one's a six, a size six. But not everyone likes big, chunky, chunky, funky rings. Um, and I totally get that. So I love that one. I thought it was, the face is very serene. Really lovely little piece. Let me get that. Where was it? I don't even know. Okay. <sighs> what else do we going to show? Um, speaking of artistry, oh, I have to sip my tea. I do apologize. I have this incredible mobile necklace. I don't know if that's really what it is, but I'm calling it. This is sterling silver and amethyst, all handmade. This is mid-century, modern for sure. Really cool. Um, I've never seen this before. I don't really know. It's a shorter neckline, uh, but this is easily made extendable by just adding some jump rings to it. And I could probably even do that for someone. It is an open ring here, so I wouldn't have to cut the silver or anything like that. This is sterling. Um, and I think, oh, it is signed. I'll have all that information tomorrow. I have none of it today, but I could not not buy this. This is incredible. What a statement piece where someone would ask you, like, if you if you want to be a wallflower, this isn't the piece, you know? <laughs> not at all. But if you want someone to be, wow, this... That's incredible. Tell me about it. You know, like it's a, it's a stopper. It's a, people will be interested in what you are wearing. I think that's very, very cool. And I do understand that, you know, these artist pieces aren't for everyone. I get it, you know, um, you know, and that's okay. Different strokes for different folks. Um, and for anyone who likes more of a Southwestern Navajo, I do have some littler pieces this week. I have this lovely, it's so sweet. This is a uh, coral, non-dyed. This is natural coral, all uh, sawtooth set. Just on a nice little simple sterling chain. But this is a very good layering piece, especially if you have like some turquoise beaded necklaces. You just layer this whole thing up and you get this really great look. And if you're not, if you just like this type of thing, you don't have to always wear it with you know, Southwest Native American, just wear whatever you want. Wear it with like some whatever, like glass beads or anything. It just make your own look. Don't follow what everyone says you should do. Be happy with what you're wearing. Love it. Don't be indifferent to it. Love it. It's not worth it unless you do. Because then you're not going to wear it, right? I'm, I'm learning that in my ripe old age. Now, this was very pretty. This is an older piece. Not the chain, the pendant, okay? So the pendant... It's way vintage, it's not quite antique, but uh, this is um, Scottish, is that what it's called? Scottish Lace Agate, Scottish Lace Agate, there you go. And I've been on a hunt for a bracelet with this stone, affordably though, <laughs> I'm having a hard time. So if anyone out here finds a vintage antique one that has this stone bracelet, let me know if it's affordable, because I can't find any for like under like three or 400 bucks, bumming me out, and I'm a hunter what I do you know <laughs> but anyway I think this is darling it's really beautiful the stone is fantastic and all that's marked in here is sterling and I just stuck it on the simple little chain really pretty I like the setting as well it has a nice romantic feel but it's not too flowery you know so we've got that okay let's see um Oh, and then I do have, I've been on the hunt for a certain person for something and I haven't been able to find it, but I found this in the meantime. I know that makes sense to nobody, but it makes sense to me. So this is a big, chunky, fun, awesome sterling silver toggle bracelet. Um, I liked it because it, well, it's big and chunky and it has a great look to it. Um, the toggle is nice and big. It's not going to snap. It's not going to fall out or anything like that. Um, also, in a weird way, this kind of very modern looking, but it kind of reminds me a little bit of like barbed wire. So it's a little bit like, 
a mature punk rock look to me. I know that sounds ridiculous, but if you're my age, you'll probably understand what I'm saying. Like back in the day, you could wear little spikes or little riveted bracelets. And, you know, I feel I'm a little, it's not my thing these days, but this still has like a rock and roll edge to it. I don't know if anyone <laughs> agrees with me, but it's just the way I saw it. So I, I figured I, I'm going to get it. This is a slightly smaller size, but it is a big, thick, chunky, awesome bracelet. Not yet. And let me see. I don't even know. Hmm. Um, this one, which will be here tomorrow, is fabulous. Look at this. Absolutely stunning, stunning ring. I think I did a short on this one too. I can't even remember. Um, I've been going through some just personal stuff, you know, and so I have not uh, been as active on the YouTube as I usually am. And I do apologize. Um, and I haven't been making as many shorts, but I'm pretty sure I did do one with this big, beautiful ring. Absolutely stunning. Love everything about it, even like the whole band of it and everything. Really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think with a nice little smorgasbord, I think. I don't know. I hope it is. Um, and obviously there's more. I can't show it all because then there wouldn't be any mystique, magic. Well, to me, it's all magical. That's definitely a thing that I, I love. Um, I do have one Chinese export necklace. For my Chinese export people, but only one, unfortunately. My other one has not come. Maybe it'll show up tomorrow. You never know. Um, but like I said, I have Tasco, a gorgeous, it's all sterling silver, incredible, heavy, fabulous heart, graduated, hand pounded gorgeousness there. Um, just a little bit of everything. We do have a little bit of Navajo this week, not much, but a little bit, as in I think one or two pieces. Yeah, and that's it, yeah. So anyway, if you're new here, thank you so much for being new. If you would like to participate in tomorrow's fun, fun times, we will be doing, um, it's mostly auction, but I do throw in buy it nows um, and uh, giveaways. So uh, check us out, check us out. And you just need to register if you wanna participate. Um, and that, you just have to shoot me an email. I'll have all that information in the title of this video, also in the description box of this video. I just need your real name, your YouTube name, your email associated with PayPal and the country, city, and zip code uh, which you reside so I know how to uh, bill for shipping. Real simple. And if you just want to come and check us out and say hi, you don't have to register. That's always okay too. More, more than welcome to come by and hang out and make friends. We're all here just to have a good time, right? Anyway, I hope to see everyone tomorrow evening, uh, which is Thursday, 5 p.m. Pacific time, which is 8 p.m. Eastern. And everyone, I'm going to give you all hugs and love. Remember to be kind to people around you, but also be kind to yourselves. See you all tomorrow. Mwah. Bye.